Welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 2nd of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. Okay, so let's just jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning messages are for this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the soulmates, okay, so we have, wow, we've got transformation, boundaries, okay, and one more card please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 2nd of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me, thank you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in, thank you. Oh, we have forgiveness. Okay, let's have a look and see what your, whoops, let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom messages are for those that I am picking up their energies for this week. All right, my angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. We have a leg up. My angels, and thank you. We have a treasure island, beautiful. And one more card, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Oh, we have um, serendipity. Okay, so. Okay, brilliant. All right, let's take a deep dive, everybody, to see what we are picking up for your overarching message. So first off the bat, your first crowning message, um, I think it kind of says what it says on the tin. Um, transformation is your first card. We have boundaries and we have forgiveness. OK, so for those of you that I am reading for this uh, weekend, I feel as if... Uh, you and whoever you are connecting to, um, I do feel that this is more of a love message, okay, rather than a general. But for those of you that I'm reading for, I feel that you and this person are going through a transformation. And I feel that there's balance coming in, that you could be going through transformation with what you speak, with the blue coming in here, representing the throat chakra. But what I am intrigued with is this purple here. It feels as if your third eye chakra is open. open opening up there's something I feel that um, maybe there were some boundaries that needed to be set or maybe there were boundaries that were set that needed to come down so either you or the person that you are connecting with I feel may have had up boundaries and I feel that there that is transforming I feel as if somebody wasn't letting somebody in OK, um, and do you know, I was just saying about this third eye chakra, look at the crown chakra opening it up here. It feels as if this full moon that we've just gone through, I feel that it's illuminated you to really look within your heart and really understand what is it you really want. I feel those of you that I'm reading for, you're quite apprehensive, perhaps a little bit scared to let somebody in your heart. And it may be because there is some healing that needs to be done. So I feel that you're being guided to stay connected uh, with Mother Earth, maybe going into prayer, having those long walks with nature and um, go to swim in the ocean if you're nearby. Yeah, look at that. We've got the ocean coming out here, water. Um, 
you could be a water sign, as I've said that there, but not necessarily. Um, and I feel this forgiveness, I feel this forgiveness is you. You're being guided to forgive yourself in order to have balance again look at the chakra culling uh, colors coming out here this yellow represents the solar plexus that means you're being guided to take you action okay because you've got the wisdom and knowledge within you to forgive yourself i feel that you're being illuminated which we can see here with that crown chakra and again look at this purple that's coming in that struck me with this card here it's as if your third eye is being really revealed that you may not have you may have been setting boundaries around whoever you are connecting with and i feel that that has to change and i feel with the amount of water coming here it may be around emotions i feel those that i'm reading for you you don't want to you, you don't trust anyone coming too close to your heart and with these birds coming in here i feel that you're getting messages or you've had messages that has illuminated you i feel this transformation is going to root you um with that red representing the root chakra um I feel that I feel for those of you that I'm reading for this full moon was quite powerful for you and you may still be going through some of that residual energy but transformation and I really feel that it's around those that I am reading for it's actually around you okay for your crowning wisdom message your first card that you have is a leg up absolutely I feel that you're being guided to um to reach out to those of those that are confidants to you, friends, family, relatives, sisters, mother, grandmother, somebody that you trust, um, I feel to talk about um, something that I feel really hurt your heart, maybe some trauma of some sort, a first love, something that really tore you to bits, really, really cracked you open. And I I feel because of that particular incident, um, you're very, very protective over your heart. And whoever you are connecting with now, you're not really letting them in. It almost feels as if it is this continuous loop. It's an infinite kind of loop that you've been in. And for some of you, it may be something that you have carried over in past lifetimes. This week, I feel that you're being called to action to transform that. Some of you may already know it um, or picked that up um, within yourself intuitively. Some of you, I feel that you're being guided with the wisdom here to ask for help, okay? Um, these stars represent um, your angels, okay? And if you look very, very closely these images if you look real careful there's an image here it's almost of divine spirit universe your higher self i feel as if they're going to bring people on this earth to help you crack open to help melt that ice that is around your heart and i feel that you're being guided that it's okay to ask for a helping hand um speak about what has happened to you speak about what it is that you're experiencing now i feel some of you are quite intuitive um so you may already know that you're not giving all to somebody that i feel um you hold very very close to your heart treasured island is all about uh two people that see each other as precious treasure you both see each other as gems. I feel that you see this person as somebody that's truly, truly special. There's a lot of love. They are very, very special to you. And with, again, a lot of water coming in here, I feel that you feel their emotion. You feel that it's kind of like you and them um, against the world, so to speak. And it feels as if this person has... Um, triggered something within your heart and that's why i feel that you're going through a bit of an awakening okay understanding that um you consciously or unconsciously actually had boundaries around your heart 
I feel that that's changing and you're being guided to forgive yourself and that wisdom's coming in. I feel that you're being encouraged to speak to your spirit team, reach out um, and ask your, your spirit team, your angels, your, your guides to help you. Even those that are here that you consider part of your soul tribe, your spirit family, um, to give you that leg up, to give you that help. They'll help you carry the load. They will help you dissect and analyze and analyze a little bit more. Um, and I feel that um, at the heart of it, um, you're connecting with somebody that you that you treasure, you absolutely treasure. They're very, very special for to you. And that's why I feel that you're going through this transformation. And serendipity, do you know something? I love this card to the maximum. This is a luck. This is luck is on your side. It almost feels as if you've known this person before. It's like you're getting a second chance. It feels like you're getting a second chance within your heart space around love. Um, and I feel that luck, you know, divine spirit universe, I feel like they're coming in with the wisdom to say, look, we know the pain that you've gone through. Um, and actually we put somebody particularly special in your life, somebody that you would have seen as your treasure, your gold, um, somebody that is a precious gem. And it's because we've seen the hurt that you've gone through. And we know that you're not really giving and receiving as you should be. And this serendipity is all about luck is on your side. This is something that is going through a transformation. It's like you're getting a second chance. And for some of you, you may feel that you've, you like, you've known this person before. Um, you could be dealing with a twin flame. I don't really feel so. It could be, um, but it almost feels more like a very very deep soulmate somebody that has specifically been brought into your life to help you transform to help you and trigger you to forgive yourself of setting boundaries around your heart of not giving and receiving how your heart wants to give and receive um i honestly feel that i may be uh, reading water signs you know um pisces cancer scorpio it's like you are stopping yourself from feeling emotion or you're stopping yourself from letting anybody come that little bit close to your heart um and i feel that you your go the transformation that you're going through is first to forgive yourself and to recognize that actually you've got a boundary around you um and there may be, I mean, I, I feel that it's a legitimate reason why that boundary is there. But I feel that with your wisdom cards coming in, that this is somebody that struck a chord with you. And I feel it may be somebody that you've lived past lives with. It's like, you know, this person. And I feel that this is like a, a, a stroke of luck. It's like a stroke of magic that the two of you have come together. Obviously, it's divine spirit universe, your higher self orchestrating people in your life to help you transform but also this particular really special person that's helping you to open up your heart again so that tells me that you are very giving when it comes to your emotion when it comes to love um when it go comes to giving commitment okay all right, for those of you that I um, am reading for and picking up your energies, if this message is resonating, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It really helps to push the video out to others seeking a general um, love message for this week. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and click that subscription button. Um, it really does help to support the channel. Also, uh, returning subscribers, thank you and welcome um, for coming back. I really hope you get a useful and meaningful message um, from this reading and thank you for all of your support um, encouragement and don donations I am truly 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 grateful um, also as well um, for some of you you will see this video on Instagram and um, you will also uh, if you have been following me you will see that I'm also on TikTok as well so please feel free to join me on those social media platforms I welcome your support and encouragement there as well all right let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? 
week commencing Monday the 2nd of August through to Sunday the 8th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see what we are picking up. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of the collective? Whoops, thank you. Okay, so we've got uh, quite a few cards that have come out here. So we've got uh, toil and labour, family room, change, privileged lady, And one more card, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does the whoops, soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? The week commencing Monday, the 2nd of August through to Sunday, the 8th of August. Thank you. Oh, OK. So we have got gift and we've got a bonus card of journey. Wow. Now, do you know something that is not even a coincidence how these cards have come out? So right at the center of your reading, everybody, you've got change and journey. So I feel that this is you. All right. This is you and your person going through transformation. And I feel as if they may be journeying to you. I feel that you're both going on a new journey, something that is more enriching, more fulfilling feeling more abundant, something that is going to um, almost reflect the preciousness of this gem that you uh, see um, towards each other. Um, I feel as if you guys are levelling up and I feel it's because of this transformation that you're going through, those that I'm reading for. It's like it's going to, uh, to completely change the dynamic of this relationship. Whoever you are connecting with, um, I feel as if they've worked really hard in this relationship. I feel that with the family room, they have tried to create an um, abundant and comfortable environment, um, either within your home, if you're together with this person, or in their home. So when you come and visit, or you know when you visit each other, um, I feel that they've tried to make it feel as if it's a home from home for you. They've put a lot of work into this to really try and let you know that it's safe for you to love them and it's safe for you to receive love from them. I also feel that this person is a very hard worker when it comes to work, their wealth, their job. Um, I feel that they might work, uh, you know, quite long hours. Um, they put a lot of work in what they do, okay? They work long hours, toil and labor. They, they do really, really work. But I do feel that it's because they've got this beautiful beautiful home um that i feel that they want to make you feel that you are part of they may even um hang your picture up on the wall okay um together with maybe like a significant other female like a mother or a grandmother or family portrait but it, it feels as if you're displayed, it's like your energy is in this room, in their home, or in your home, if you have a home together. But I feel that they have worked, they and they do work quite hard to almost kind of let you know that their home is your home. But there's major change going on. And I feel that the two of you are going on um, a new journey, a journey that is enriched. It's, it's rich, it's, it's, new it's fresh it's something that is gonna i feel that feels really abundant okay uh, and i feel that they're ready they're ready to go on this journey with you 
those of you that I am uh, reading for now, you may be an actual woman or this may just be your divine feminine energy coming in. I feel that you are a little bit of a well to do person, to be fair. Um, I feel that you are somebody that is um, perhaps quite comfortable. Um, you do look after yourself, I would say. Um, I do. I would say that you um they might see you a little bit um, a cut above them. So, and that's why I feel that this person works so hard to make you feel as if this, because look, this family home looks like a place that you would be, but it's on their side. If you look at these, this individual here, it, this person doesn't look as if they would be, um, brought up in this kind of environment they've created that environment through hard work and toil and i feel it's so that you can feel very comfortable in that surrounding i feel that you a hundred percent know that this person is a gift they may even shower you with quite a lot of gifts because i feel that they they feel that you you know they might feel that they're boxing a little bit above their weight with you OK, so I feel that they are quite giving, but I feel that you've kept a boundary around you giving um, because you may have been taken for granted. They definitely see you as a, a, a precious, a precious gem, somebody that is something to be treasured, to be nurtured, to be spoiled, to, um, you know, to just love. You know, I feel to just love, but I feel that it's you, genuinely, it's you that is, um, that's got this boundary around you at the moment. Let's have a look at your clarifications. Wow. Okay. So that didn't even take any time to come out. The three of swords. So I feel that this person is quite heartbroken, that they have to work so hard to achieve what they've got to achieve to maintain um, the lifestyle that they want for themselves, not just for you, but, you know, I feel as if you could be dealing with somebody that I know that this is a young individual here, but they could have been um, working at very young age. So I feel that you could be dealing with somebody that's quite mature, that from a very young age they worked. OK, so I feel that this person may not be educated because they had to go out and work at a young age. I feel that you're educated, though. All right. I'm not saying that you had everything given to you on a golden, you know, a golden platter or anything like that. Um, but I feel that you are definitely you've definitely come up in two different backgrounds. And in a way, I feel that they feel quite heartbroken that they they're not at the same level as you, if that makes sense, that they're boxing a little bit above their weight here. Um, so you remember I said to you that, you know, they are trying really hard, I feel, to put effort in this relationship to let you know that they are safe to love and it's safe for you to give love and receive love to this person um, because I do feel that they see you as this really precious treasure um, and I feel that they also feel a little bit heartbroken that they've gone through a lot of their life, to be honest with you, a lot of their youth and their adult life working and I feel as if you know, you may have been a, a very, very much a breath of fresh air. You may have um, shown them a lot of um, like culture and introduced them to new things um, that they've kind of always been aware of, but never really been so perhaps interested because they've never really had anybody to share that with. With you, they can. And I feel it's as if it kind of saddens them that, yeah, they, 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 they missed a lot, you know, a lot of seeing the world, maybe a lot of, you know, um, exposure to culture or different people, different classes, because they had to, from a very early age, work, all right, for everything that they have. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? How does the soulmates of oh, thank you? Yeah, so I feel that this person, so we've got a lot of swords coming out here. So I feel as if this person is not, I wouldn't say they're a bad communicator. 
but I feel as if they do want to express um, some of some of the things that they have got kind of locked away in their heart. And to be to be honest with you, there may be certain boundaries they don't let you in, and it may be because of perhaps something traumatic that happened um, at a young child as a young child going out to work. Um, and I feel that they want to share that with you, but because you've got your barrier around you, you're not letting them in. It's like they can't let you in, if that makes sense. And I feel that they know that that has to change. And I feel that it is going to change. All right. Transformation and the change card right in the middle of your reading. Um, but I feel that they don't know how to communicate this. They don't. They see something needs to change. And I feel as if their heart is open, but yet they're protecting themselves. I feel that there's stuff they want to talk to you about their youth, about what they've kind of had to go through. I feel like this person has gone through, you may have gone through the university of education. This per person's gone through the university of life. And I feel that there are things that they want to share um, and open up. And it almost feels as if they... Yeah, it's like they want you to be more open, more close to them with your experiences, your upbringing, you know, and to, to talk, to really come together, like really come together and be there for each other in ways in which perhaps, you know, maybe they've not had anyone be there like that for them. But for some reason, they see that they want that kind of intimacy that kind of connection with you and look at that with the world card yeah they want change they want change um and i feel that this cycle um so this is change this is change so i feel that this cycle of perhaps not sharing a lot of what they experienced as a youth which is something that they really do want to talk about i feel i feel that that cycle is closing um and i feel as though it's it's closing because there's change because that boundary is coming down um and also i feel that there's something about a room in their home that i feel that you may feel quite comfortable you may come down off of oh do i say it say it but you're you may come down off your pedestal a little bit um and kind of knock around it it, it feels as if it's home from home for you and i feel that they like that but i feel as if this change is if they had to tell you something about their past um that may change and i feel that's why they're a bit apprehensive and that is why that three of swords is there yeah look at that they're scared they're scared to tell you about something that's gone up on in in their youth okay and um, because it feels as if it will change the way that you perceive what they have attained in some shape form or another you could be dealing with pisces or you could have pisces in your chart and i did say right at the beginning i was picking up a water sign okay um they see you as this uh, nine of pentacles yeah this is definitely the energy of this privileged lady whether you are male or female i feel as if they see you as somebody that's independent very very beautiful handsome wise somebody that has a pretty penny somebody that's quite comfortable but I feel that there's something that needs to change and this change is about this boundary that I feel that you have around yourself and we have got uh, the hermit coming out here Virgo popping up here I feel as if um, those that I'm reading for I feel that you are um, seeking wisdom seeking guidance around this connection like I said this full moon that um, popped up um on Saturday, well, sort of Friday into Saturday um, last week, it 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 very much feels as if that full moon illuminated something for you. It triggered something for you, you know. And I feel that you are really thinking about it, and you're seeking guidance, you're seeking wisdom. You want to make wise choices, and I feel whatever triggered it almost 
it almost has triggered you to know that you've got to balance something out. Something needs to transform when it comes to the boundaries that you put around your heart. Um, and I feel as if it's basically is starting with forgiveness. You forgiving yourself first and foremost. Because do you know what? Even though I feel that you see this person as really precious as they do, as they see you, I feel as if you, you might take them for granted a little bit. Yeah, because I feel that they do dote on you. They do give you a lot of gifts. They give you a lot of attention. And I feel that you've kind of lapped it up, but you may not have necessarily equally given back. It's a wonder we haven't seen the six of coins yet, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, I feel that you know that this change is happening. You know this transformation is happening. And I think you are seeking guidance, wisdom, from divine spirit universe here you go there's that leg up um yeah you're seeking guidance as to what to do how to change how to transform what are the next steps reach out to your spirit team with that leg up here um they will give you the answers let's continue thank you yeah, you're stagnant, spiritually still at the moment. You're you're observing everything. You're observing, you're not sure what to do. They just showed me the Ten of Cups. This person is your wish fulfillment and happiness. But do you know what? I don't feel that you're expressing it because I feel that you're a little bit scared to. Wow, look at that, the Queen of Cups. So do you know something? Um, I feel as if um, you're really holding back your love from this person it's not even that you're not even expressing it you're not even showing it and that's what I feel that you're and I said that didn't I I said that you, this person it's like they dote on you you lap it all up and you don't you might take them for granted you 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 lap it all up but you're not there's no way that you're giving equally what this person is giving to you and that is where I feel that you are analyzing really observing spiritually still thinking something needs to change here because actually this person is very very precious to you and I feel that you feel like you've known them before they feel lucky you feel happy with them okay and it feels as if you've not shown them any love at all to be honest with you the right way up would be the uh, Queen of Cups know that this is the person for them, but they're not speaking about it. With it in reverse, it's like... It's like you're not even really acknowledging that there's love there. And it's because of this boundary. And I feel that you're really reflecting on that. And I feel that you're being guided that you need to forgive yourself because you're being illuminated to your behaviours and actions. Thank you. Oh, now look at that. Is that not even funny? That ten of, um, that nine of cups, sorry, came out. I think I said it was the ten of cups, didn't I? Um, well, the, the nine of cups have come out, which was the card that came out. So it feels as if this person is your happiness or you see them. You see that you are the only one for them but you may not see them as your happiness or you're denying it. They get, I feel that they gift you quite a lot. I feel for some of you, this is somebody that really, really dotes on you. And it's not that you don't like it. I feel like it, like it feels a bit uncomfortable. It's like you've never been treated like this before. So you don't quite know what to do with it. All right. But they are precious to you, though, deep down. And that's why I feel that you're being guided to, to speak to people. Speak to people that you trust. Speak to your spirit team. Because I feel that this has really kind of knocked you for six. It's triggered something within your heart space that I don't think you was expecting. Yeah, you're not surrendering to this connection. It's like I said, it's like you're, you're, you're lapping up all of this good stuff that this person is um, giving you and you're not giving them any love. You're not letting them know that you, they are your wish fulfillment, but you're taking all the gifts. You're not surrendering. You may not even be very communicative 
Um, again, you, you know, protecting yourself. Oh, look, there's another card. Wow, look at that. I had to check there that the cards weren't upside down. You're not let, hearing the call to action to restore this connection. So that tells me that you and this person have been connected before in past lives. But you don't see that. And do you remember I said right at the beginning that this purple struck me? It's as if your third eye is being unveiled to see something that you didn't see before. You know that they are precious to you, but you're not letting them know your actions, your words. And that is where whatever is awakening within you, it's as though you're just thinking, OMG, there's a lot of love here that this person has for me. And actually, something does need to change because actually they are very, very precious to me. This is what needs to change because all those cards are reverse. If they were the fake, if they were the right way up, this would be that you are giving equally to this person. And that's possibly why this person is heartbroken. Because they see that they've got a choice to make with you. It's either things will have to change or the cycle with you may have to end. And that is something they truly fear. Because I genuinely feel that this person just thinks the world of you. Look at the cards on your side. They're pretty much all reversed. Let's have a look at your bonus card, Journey. The key thing is, is that change is upon you both. Transformation is definitely around those that I am reading for, for sure. Let's have a look and see. Please, can you clarify the Journey card for me? My angels and spirit guides, please, can you clarify the jerk? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, this person wants a new beginning. Passionately, strongly. They want to take action for a new beginning, a new journey, change. Yeah. I feel as if they are very, very attracted to you physically, by the way. They've got a lot of, there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you, but I feel that they want to take action to change, to Go on a different journey. Paint a different picture. Let's continue. One more, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify the journey card for the collective in love? Oh, wow, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse so it feels as if you uh, those of you that i'm reading for you are blocking um this change you're blocking this new journey with this person um and it's because i feel uh you've got to go through this transformation all right um this person has divinely been guided into your life there's no doubt about that um but with all of these reversals it's almost as if you're not really seeing the spiritual connection. That's why this purple really stood out for me. Out of all the colours, that's what stood out. And I feel as if there are conversations that need to happen, all right? Um, so almost a little bit of heart-to-heart -heart conversations, to be fair. Because right now, it feels as if you're, you're blocking your fortune. You're blocking um, this change. You're blocking a new journey. You're blocking your own happiness, and I feel that this, that's why this person is heartbroken because I feel that they see it. But do you know what? Either you have seen it through this full moon, those that I'm reading for, or you're going to be seeing it this week. In the next couple, couple of weeks, you're going to be seeing it. It's going to start something. The penny is just going to start dropping. And I feel that it's going to be a really lucky and fortunate time. So it feels as if you're good. It's like you're getting a second do over. If you watch the signs and synchronicities, forgive yourself, really look at those boundaries, ask for help where you need to. And I feel allowed to find spirit universe to transform you and to transform this connection because this person's got a heck of a lot of love for you. I feel that they just want to give, I feel like they just want to spoil you and give you and just give you the world. Let's have a look and see what your soulmate advice is. What would your soulmate want to say? What do the soulmates want to say to the collective? 
And what does the collective want to say to this soulmate, please? My angels and spirit guides, thank you. All right, so we've got, you are, look, right, this is this person communicating to you. It says, you are always in my heart like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory, drifting through space like autumn leaves, recollections of loving days and nights. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? And I feel that this is what this person is um, kind of letting you know how they feel. And that's why it feels quite heartbreaking that you're not reciprocating in the way I feel. A, that you want to, and B, the way in which I feel divine spirit universe has put this person in your life to, to grow and develop and to really help you heal from whatever it is that 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 that's that's put up these boundaries around your heart and the message for you for those that i'm reading it says close your eyes and feel your spiritual connection to everything on this planet every person animal tree and flower feel the ocean the wind the sky all in perfect harmony, moved by the one eternal flow of love. And I feel that that is a very specific message to those that I am reading for in terms of, um, in terms of the flow of love, of life, of evolution, of change. And it almost embodies this transformation it's almost like every living thing is precious. Everything is, everything living and breathing is divine love for us, for self, uh, for the earth, okay? And I feel that you're being guided to almost close your eyes and feel that love all around you. And as you do, allow divine spirit to work in you, through you and around you, to transform you, heal this heart, um, accept a change within this relationship. Um, I feel that you're being given a second chance um, to have something very, very beautiful, I feel. Very, very beautiful. And I just want to pull one card in the, in the middle for the two of you, actually. Thank you. And we've got here, wow. Dwelling on the past and future keeps me from experiencing the power of now. I make a conscious choice to be present. I accept love now. I am grateful for your love. And I almost feel as if your higher selves are coming in to communicate that to both of you on that soul level. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to, you know, for this person to let go past hurt traumas of whatever they went through as a young person having to you know work at a very young age perhaps sooner than they wanted they didn't experience some of they it's like they didn't experience being a youth okay um they may have made mistakes as we all do you know in our youth it's time to let that go i feel for you whatever put that boundary around you it's time to let that go it's time to be in the here and now in the present and make that conscious effort to be in the present and be grateful that you know i feel for you that that you have somebody that loves you and is willing to um, you know, treat you like this precious treasure that you are. And for this person, I feel, you know, to be grateful to um, know love, to even though they may have had a real tough childhood, they are still um, able to give love. It didn't harden them. It didn't, you know, make them bitter. Um, and that is something to be thankful for. That is something to give thanks about. So I feel both of you are getting a real um, pertinent message here. Um, be in the present. Enjoy each other. Those that I'm reading for, forgive yourself. Really go within. Look at the boundaries that you have around your heart. Ask yourself why. Reach out to your spirit team. Know that this is a precious. This person thinks that you are precious. And I feel that luck is definitely on your side. You've got a do-over. And I say just take it. Yeah, because it looks as if change um, and a new journey 
a transformation not only of you um, but of this whole connection is right at your fingertips okay i'm going to leave that there for you if this message resonates please click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already um until next time i'm sending you all loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye